Hey everyone, today we're back on Minecraft, but today is a little bit special because it's episode 100. So it's one of those really big milestones that I was kind of looking forward to, you know. When you first start a series, you wonder, is it ever going to get there? Well, it did. So you can see some of the things that I built behind me, but today we're going to celebrate a little bit. We're not going to be starting any new projects, we're not going to be doing anything, but today is going to be um, like a review. We're going to go through... All 99 episodes, see what we did, see what projects we did, how they turned out, and stuff like that. Just some facts, and I do have a note page right there, so if you see me looking, that's what I'm looking at. This world was created February 2nd, 2014. That is exactly 6 years and 11 days ago. So we actually missed, um, technically, the 6 year anniversary 11 days ago, but 6 years. The same world, same series nothing has changed I think multiple computers I think this is my third computer or my second and yeah six years it's a little crazy so right now I'm 20 that means I would have started this world when I was 14 I think in middle school so real quick before we continue I do wanna put a short clip of the very first episode just so you guys can kinda see where we started Hello everybody, Aquagear here, and welcome to the first episode of Aqua's Adventure. Okay, let's start the world so we can start playing. Let's see what biome we land in. Okay, uh, Roof the Forest, that's a pretty good biome. Uh, okay, let's start off by getting some wood. So yeah, uh, things have changed, uh, less laggy, better audio, face cam, obviously a bit older, a little bit of a deeper voice. So, before we actually start going through the review and start going through our 100 episode journey that lasted almost 6 years, and I should say this, um, it's not ending. I know a lot of people, they get to episode 100 and they say like, alright guys, we finished the world. No, this world is not ending and I don't ever want it to end. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but I'm being genuinely serious. A lot of people make new worlds. I plan to never have another Minecraft world. The only way that would happen is if there's a, a new additions to the game that make this one unplayable, or if there's something new that I can't play into in this world, then I'll switch. But as far as I'm concerned, I never want to get a new world. So guys, before we start, like I said, I put on a little fireworks show, so let's go ahead and watch that. So this is the button and it's going to release a lot of fireworks, so let's get started. You know what, this might take a while, I'll be right back. Alright, so obviously guys, this isn't my real world, I wouldn't do this to my real world. I just said a second ago that it's gonna go on forever, but um, this is a cool little site. If I did blow up my world, this is what it looked like. And obviously, I wanted to blow up the entire thing, but um, it took like 30 minutes just to do this, and I'm not that patient, so yeah. Let's go ahead and go to our real world, obviously. Um, so, that's a backup that I made. Alright, so this is our real world. So, obviously, we need to start with episode 1. So, let's go ahead and head back to spawn. So, yeah, guys, the spawn is actually still here. I never got rid of it, never destroyed it or anything. And once again, if I'm if I keep looking over here, guys, I'm looking at my notepad because I've actually, like, got notes down of, like what we did in actual chronological order so i've got most of the things we did in chrono chronological order not all of them all right so the first episode obviously we spawned in and i'm pretty sure we spawned in like here i think somewhere here or in there or somewhere over there i could probably check in the video but we spawned in this area so the first thing we did was build this building so this was our first building ever created in this world and once again almost six years ago so all of this is over six years old and it's still here after that we built our first nether portal which is over here so this is the first nether portal ever created and then we created the first mob trap which is that so obviously you guys recognize this because we have one of these at our um at our base at the moment but <laughs> The one at our base is four times bigger, made out of better blocks, uh, is more efficient, has a filtering system, but this was our first one, and this was built in the first couple episodes. So the next things we did, we built our first redstone machinery. So, um, yeah, stuff like this. I don't know 
uh, where everything else is. But I know that was one of the first ones. And then, really, as far as this base goes, that's really all we did. We created this house, we created the mob trap, we got some animals, another portal. Uh, we did these flower farms. And then we kind of decided, hey, let's go find a new area because I didn't want to stay in spawn. So, um, yeah, that, that was what we did. And I, I don't know exact episodes, but I know it's probably around episode 5. So, what we did is we started going in this direction. And I think this rail does actually follow along with kind of how we walked. But when we get there, I'll actually show you guys kind of where I walked in to like the area from. So, obviously, now we're coming up on my base here. I remember, and now this is actually something that I do remember as a fact... The reason we picked this location first was because of this village. So I know we came up through this field right here. We were walking and we found the village and we came up like this through this area and then we found the village and we started building it right there. So we, we didn't come exactly down that railway but kind of around it. We just went a little bit more back that way. So <clears throat> obviously we came in, we did the village. And the start of our base was right here where this fountain is actually. So the first thing that we did, which is actually funny, is we created this door. Out of everything here, the first thing was actually this door. And it's the exact same door. This has not changed. From six years ago, this is the exact same door, same beginning of the house. After we did that, we built the stables, which are right over here. And then after that, we kept making improvements on our house, and we built the attic here. That is... Okay, so we built a little, like, pumpkin scarecrow guy up here. Named him Old Pumpkinhead. Not really sure why I did that. But he was up here, and it doesn't look like he's up here anymore. So eventually, I probably got rid of him for some reason. Maybe I just thought it was dumb or something. But after we created, basically, we kind of finished the house at that point with all of these, like, roofs and stuff. We went over here and we built this nano farm, which obviously gets us vegetables and stuff. After that, we created our first tree farm. And obviously, this is a pretty rudimentary tree farm, but it was actually here. So now it's like a mass storage area, but our first tree farm was actually here. And we didn't, we only tore it down pretty recently, too. So you guys probably remember that if you've been watching. The next thing we did was we built the pool and bar. So this was really my first go at building something like decorative. So we came over here and I built I built this little like Hawaiian bar area and then I built this pool over here. So I used a lot of like my first uh, nether quartz. I actually went into this build right here and we have like different um, you know places you can dive from. So this was really like my first decorative build in, in this base area. So after that, we built the chicken farm. So if we come over here, we built the chicken farm next. And guys, right now, remember, we're still maybe around episode like 10 or 11. So we're not even that far. You know, we got 99. This is only like episode 10. We built the chicken farm. After we built the chicken farm, we came over here. We got we obviously went to the nether, got some nether wart, and we built the nether wart farm. After this we built the sugarcane farm. And when we first built it, it only had a single level and no decorations. Only recently, again, if you guys remember, we built actually the two more levels and decorated it. Originally, it was just this level right here. After that, we built the cocoa farm. And also, you guys can kind of tell of like what time period this was in by the blocks that I built it out of. So a lot of the early things I built out of stone and wood and wood and stone. And then a lot of the things that come in the future are starting to be bone. And then after bone, it's the new smooth stone block that was introduced. So you can also kind of look at it from that aspect of like you, the block that I built it with really kind of tells a time period. So after the cocoa farm, we built the egg farm, which is right here. After that, we built the snow farm right next to it. Um, then we built the ice farm, which is still today one of my favorite projects that I've ever done. We go all the way up here. We built our first, and actually only ice farm in this world. Yeah, we built this ice farm, and again, still one of my favorites that I've ever built. Then we went out searching for dogs, and we got our first dogs. And these, um, the where we housed them wasn't built along with it, but um, we got our first dogs, obviously. 
Uh, where was I? We got our dogs. So next, after we got all these dogs, and here's one cool thing about this, and if you were here for a while, you would know this, but all of the animals on my world are actually named by the viewers. Back then, I used, I don't I haven't had any animals recently, so I haven't had anyone name it. Plus, no one watches my videos, but. Back then, I actually did get a good amount of views, and there was a lot of people like commenting. So I told you guys, hey, if you want to name one of my dogs, go ahead. So if you're watching and your name is up here, well, you know, you can get a nice little throwback. But I'll run through all of them just so you guys can kind of see if maybe th one of these is you. Because you might not even remember. This was years and years ago. Um, but yeah, all of these were named by viewers. And then same with the cats, but we'll see the cats in a second. So after these dogs, we built the beginnings of our roller coaster. And again, we actually revamped our roller coaster just recently um, with a lot of changes to up there. But we did, uh, yeah, we built this roller coaster after that. Um, after that, we built our cactus farm here. So this was really our next big, uh, as far as it goes, farm project. After that... I think at that point in time, I felt like I've maybe done enough as far as like redstone and farming. So I decided, hey, let's actually progress through the game. So I ventured to find my first stronghold. And obviously, when you first find a stronghold, you use like the eyes of Ender and it pointed me in that direction. And then I will actually go to it. So obviously, it took me in that direction. But we did build like a, we did build a highway to it. So. Yep, and obviously this was built recently, so just we didn't have this back then, but we found our first stronghold, and sorry about the clicking here. So yeah, we came over here, and we found our first, oh, silverfish, we found our first stronghold here, and obviously we jumped in, and then very, very soon right after, we went for the ender dragon. So, yep, I also need some more rockets, so let me grab some of those. Yeah, we came over here and we fought the ender dragon and its remains or where it died is right here and you could st still see some of the remains from the fight some of the ladders that i helped uh get up there and a lot of those are farming from obsidian but anyway so we fought the ender dragon and obviously we're still alive so we won and then we put this egg in here and it's been in this single location and has not moved or been broken since we defeated it and the dragon was defeated june 2015 so around a year after i first created the world we defeated the ender dragon obviously this was five years ago so we defeated it quite a bit ago and i actually haven't fought it again ever since which is going to come up in the next couple of videos because i do want to fight it again um but anyway after we defeated the ender dragon we went and searched for cats so we had dogs but now i wanted cats so came over here and we got ourselves a bunch of cats and once again like i said a lot of these were named by the viewer so we can go through i'll show each of these signs so if you guys can see yourself you know it's kind of cool to see yourself sometimes and almost done so yeah if you guys saw yourself uh leave a comment i want to see if you guys are you know still watching a little bit so yep we got our cats and then we started on a little farm grind again, so we built our melon and pumpkin farms. And in the beginning, fun fact, the storage was actually right below it. But now that we have this like underground big basement, we have it there now, which I also have some big updates for that. But then after the pumpkin and melon farms, we went to find our first ocean monument, which was released uh pretty like it was released and then we almost did it right away i think so this was around when the aquatic update or whenever the monument came out we went to find our first ocean monument and then after we did the ocean monument was one of our first wither fights so obviously now we've got lots of beacons and stuff but as i remember in the beginning you know we had we had trouble fighting the wither and i can actually show you the scars of those wither battles because um we didn't fight them that far away. We actually fought them right here. So you can see a lot of the holes in the ground. These were from the withers. And you can go back in the videos and see these exact craters. So this, I, I kind of consider this like my wither fighting area. And I would build like an arena and fight withers here. But the problem is the wither destroys everything. And no point in building, right? So the next, we made our first potion maker, like automator. And we built that into the basement right here. 
in this exact location. So this is where our first potion was, but obviously, uh, well, not obviously if you haven't been watching, but um, it broke in an update. So we had to tear it down. We did build another one, but we'll get to that in a little bit. After our first potion automator, we built our beloved Steve little monument statue thing. So this big guy right over here. Out of a whim, I was like, you know what? I want a giant Steve in my world. So I built Steve just for giggles. After we finished Steve, we started on our horse track. So we built this. Still one of my favorite projects that we've done here. I got to scroll down on my little... Yep, there you go on my little notepad. So after that, we started our nether hub. So uh, our nether hub still isn't anything amazing, but I can show you what we did do. Really what I'm waiting for with a nether is, if you guys know, there is a new nether update coming out. So I didn't want to do anything gigantic before that update. Because obviously the whole nether is changing and so once that comes out we'll really start focusing on the nether um, but as far as the nether hub go obviously we built this inside we built this door and we built this door which i'm still fairly proud of actually i like these doors quite a bit um had our way with a little bit of snow and some other things i still i still don't think it's a terrible i don't know, so I, should, I don't think it's a terrible nether hub obviously we'll have to fix it up but I don't think it's a terrible nether hub. And that way is another project that we've worked on um, that we'll talk about a little later. And most of our actual expansions have been towards this area. So we've got, and I named all these signs something stupid. So we've got our desert over there. We've got our like um, mushroom island over there. We st we're back when the village and pillage update, I think we did this and we went really far away. We have our mesa and we have our ice spike biome. So all of those. Um, oh, and obviously, the new edition, those ice things weren't there before this episode, actually. I just did them right before this episode, just so I can travel a little quicker. Um, so those are new. So after the nether hub start, we started working on our maze. So we haven't done this in a while, but yep, this is our maze, and you can drop in from any point. Ways here. I know it's probably going to be a bit harder, because you have some more options to deal with. And I do have another maze in mind. Maybe a see, it, it's a little bit harder. I mean, obviously, see, now I'm actually lost. I, uh, <laughs> I think we go this way. Yep, we go this way. I do want to make a bigger maze, though. What was I was gonna say? I think, yep, right here. And then obviously, when we come here, we get a prize. So our prize today was a diamond. So that's pretty cool. Now we either find our way out or just shoot through a hole. And just for the time's sake, I'm just going to shoot through a hole. So we built that maze. After the maze, I was looking over here at this mountain. And we built our first mountain view just so I could get a nice look at my world. And I think right after that, we built the TNT elevators to get up there. So they're kind of the same project. So if you could tell over here and over here, are we on easy? Okay, we are. Um... We built our first TNT elevators to get up there. So this one is to get us to the ice farm and this one to get us to the viewer. Um, but we built this first viewing area and it really is one of the nicest places to get a full view of the world. The castle, the base, all of the farms and stuff. But yeah, we built that along with the TNT elevators. Next, we kind of stayed in this vicinity and we started working on our arrow game. So a little bit of archery fun. So this is the hub, and I'll kind of show you guys how to play. So um, each of these dispensers has prizes in it. Obviously, I'm not going to look in the prizes and try to get a certain one. But yeah, these have prizes, and whenever you hit a button, it gives you and shoots out a prize. So like there's one there, one there, one there. There's one up there. There's one up top. There's one there, there, and there, and there. And I don't think I built any in that direction, but there's quite a quite a bit of target. Now, this is actually a funny story. One of the biggest mistakes I made in the beginning was I actually put TNT in here as a prize. But obviously, you guys know what happens to TNT when it comes out of a dispenser. Yeah, I probably should have put it into this dropper, but I put in dispensers and I haven't changed it since. But I did take the TNT out. So, um, we can hit some of the easy ones here. Uh, actually, let's also take some things out so we can kind of get our prizes. I haven't, ooh, I haven't done archery in a little bit. Yep, and then we got our prizes. So, we got a hopper, night vision potion... I think a spider eye 
And I'll probably stick those things back in there because I don't really need them, honestly. We came over here and we built our first parkour game. Oh, oh, I'm in lava. I need. There we go. Let's go ahead and give our parkour a run. Now, the one thing about the parkour is like it's outside of the beacon range, so it gets a little bit wonky. But let's try to let's go ahead and give this one a try. No, see, I already, I already, I already fell in. I need to get out of here. All right, let's put our food back. Let's try it one more time on the way back, and then we'll try maybe one of the harder ones. I know I can make this one. If I can't make this one, I'd be surprised. And obviously, this parkour isn't very hard for very skilled parkourers, but hey. All right, so let's try this one. Oh, see, and I already didn't make it. I don't even know. How do we make it all the way over there? Is that even possible? Was I tripping when I made this? How is that even possible to get all the way over there? Do I have to, like, jump, like, here, here, and then... How did I even do that? Did I have a jumping potion on or something? Oh! Oh, I, you can make it! That's crazy, actually. I didn't realize you could do that. Well, I did realize back then. I just forgot, apparently. Alright, well, I'm not going to try that one because that one's super hard. And obviously, if you finish it, you get one of these prizes like I usually do. I have a little... Oop, I don't have my rocket selected. I have a little prize system involved in all of my games. Um, yeah, Alright, let's give this one a try and then we'll be done. Alright, yeah, I, I suck at this. I need more practice. Anyway, after the parkour, we built our fountain, which is actually perfect because I need to get rid of this lava. So literally perfect. We built this fountain and this was our first really like flex, like our first hard flex, especially with these diamonds. It was our first build and I'm actually still proud of this fountain. One of the best things I've built in this world in my opinion. Uh, right after the fountain, we built our fishing farm V1. And this is another one of my favorite places in this world, which is over here next to this pond. And by the way, this pond is natural. This was in this world. And we built our little first cottage here. So we our fishing did start here, but our first fishing farm was actually here in this building up here. So, yep, this was our first fishing farm here. You can even see because this is where the storage was. Um, after our first fishing farm, which we did use quite a bit, we built our first squid farm, which is another farm that does not exist at the moment. This giant hole here. This was our squid farm. Now it's just a giant cool looking hole, but originally this was our squid farm and we have yet to build another squid farm. After the squid farm, we started building what I call Trump Tower here and we built this parking lot right here. And along with this parking lot, we did build little, our Trump Tower over here. So it's a fully, fully decked out tower all the way to the top, all the way to build limit. And there's nothing inside of there. It's just glowstone and wood. Um, so there's no decorations. But hey, eventually once I get enough motivation, we might be able to do that. So after the parking lot and Trump Tower, we got our first parrots. Because par parents, parrots were introduced and we got our first parrots. Now the, this parrot location was built after, but we did get our first parrots. After that, we built our potion farm version 2 which is what we have today over here. So, yep, this is our second potion farm and it still works, so everything is great. It does have a couple of little bugs, but hey, still works. After our potion farm V2, we started our slime farm and our slime farm was the thing that started our big project down here as far as like the mass storage basement, you know. So we built this first uh, slime farm right here and that was fairly recent so now we're getting really up to the recent episodes and something you guys haven't seen before because I've been working on it between episode 99 and 100 is this wall and obviously expanding more so if you go if you guys go and look at the last episode it's gonna look nothing like this I did a tremendous amount of work because obviously last 99 was uploaded months ago so yep all of this wasn't here and it is now here so um, after the slime farm, we started our mass storage area. So, this also had a few revisions uh, as of recent. So, originally our mass storage area was in this location right here. So, we got all of our things from over there and brought them down here. 
and we also had our cactus and our sugar cane and they were all here and that was really recent but the reason i decided to change it you guys know because i wanted to get our cactus and sugar cane and uh, bamboo I wanted them, wanted them to come here manually, but I didn't have an easy way to get them here, especially with hoppers. I didn't want to cut through my world. So I ended up, because we had the slime farm and we had a large area below, I ended up taking all of these items and we started clearing out around the slime area and we started building these large mass storage areas. So this is for uh, gunpowder and bone. We've got our uh, cactus, sugar cane. Over there, we've got our bamboo. Over there, we've got our pumpkin and melon. So <clears throat> we really started like industrializing ourselves a little bit. So after the mass storage, we built our bamboo farm. And this was obviously when bamboo was introduced, which is still fairly recent. It was fairly recent to me. I know it wasn't recent, but to me, oh, and we fell on our maze. Um, I guess we can just go to the exit. Oh, and I almost fell in lava. And I did fall in lava. Okay, man. Elytra are crazy sometimes. So we first surf, we built our first bamboo farm here, and we at first we only built one layer, and after later we built the second two layers, which is cool. So after the bamboo farm, we went to my most I think ambitious project, which wasn't that big, but it was just a really cool project, was our filtering system here. So um, my goal was to have a fully automated mob farm. So obviously out of the mob farm, a lot of items get dropped, bones, gunpowder. All of this stuff gets dropped, but I didn't want to sort through it because sorting through it, would, I every time I did it, it would take a while. So we built our filtering system up there, and all of those run through hoppers to their individual chests, and we don't even have to worry about separating things anymore. Yep, and after that, we built our latest project, which was our iron farm, which is one of my, I think now actually one of my most ambitious things because... A lot of people don't do this until later, but not only did we build an iron farm, oh, and you can see one literally right there. We're getting more iron as we speak. Not only did we build an iron farm, but we built a quadruple iron farm because your boy didn't want to skimp on his iron. So let's, if we go back to our storage area, <clears throat> it shows. We're getting a good bit of iron and it really, really shows. And that's slowly running. Yep. So that was our latest um, project as far as that goes. But guys, you might be thinking, oh, are we done? No, we are not done. Because like I said, that was everything in chronological order. But there was a lot of things that I couldn't find in the videos. And obviously, I'm not going to spend hundreds of hours scouring through all my video to make sure everything is in perfect chronological order. So let's go through some things that we did that don't really fit anywhere. So and also some of these projects took so long. They're not really in a chronological place. You know what I'm saying? So. The first thing and biggest thing is our castle over here. So we built this. We haven't done anything with the inside, but it's still one of my favorite builds. Most, I think the biggest build I've ever done by far, other than the basement. The basement is mostly just clearing, not actually building. So this is definitely the biggest building after, th uh, or not after that. It's another thing we did after that was our new tree farm. So we, after we deleted our tree farm over there, made the mass storage area. We moved our tree farm over here. So not an amazing tree farm, but a tree farm nonetheless. And then along with this, we also took all our animals and moved them over here. And it's getting laggy because there's a lot of animals. And the reason we did that was, if you guys remember, our first animal storage area was over here. But it would lag out my base because I wanted thousands of animals. So we moved them from over there to over there. And we still have the remnants of our first animal farm. I'm going to do something with this area, but for now, I'm just going to leave it. Um, another project we worked on was our railway to spawn. This is something that you saw in the very, very beginning. So the railway from here all the way to our spawn, just so we can, you know, we know where we came from. Um, the nether, our, um, man, I'm like blanking all of a sudden, our uh, wither skeletons. Uh, we needed a farm for that because we needed heads, right? So we're heading back to the nether here. We built our... Um, with their skeleton farm and this was also fairly recent I think episode 90 something so not too long ago and you saw it a second ago if we go over here we fly we and this needs to be fixed but I'll make it I'll make it nicer later but anyway we came over here 
and this is our nether or wither head farm so obviously we come over here and um yeah just farm some uh wither head wither skulls i mean and we did do that because you guys saw a bunch of beacons so it has worked out for us very nicely actually so i think that was our that was as far as like projects in the nether go that was our latest project in the nether so looking at this after this, we did another one of my favorite farms. It feels like I'm saying favorite farm a lot. But genuinely, the iron farm is probably my favorite. Um, ice farm is like another one of my favorites. But we built this tree farm over here. So fully automated tree farm. And the reason this is one of my favorites, it's not because it's just a tree farm. But this was actually designed by me everything in this world is designed by someone else and i'll look up a tutorial and do it but no this was one of the first things that i said you know what i am going to build this completely by myself so i went over here and i'll show you guys how it works first and then um and then we can kind of go through it but obviously um we stand over here we put saplings it grows a tree and we push the pistons by wood and it pushes them over here over here and over here and then over there we have a tnt duper but before i saw i should say something so you guys don't get triggered in the comments obviously the concept of this tree farm wasn't me the whole planting moving them by pistons and then blowing them up that's not my idea but i did not look up any form of tutorial as far as like the mechanics of this they're the same with other people's but it, in my own mind i created it you feel me so like this uh redstone system this piston system all of this this was completely all me um even this uh, i don't know how m most people do it but anyway so yep you stand there and you get trees and then you build a tnt duper all the way up here and then I built two TNT dupers just so I can make sure all of it gets blown up. So it falls down here. Oh, I almost died right there, actually. And then the wood falls and it goes in these chests right here. So, and getting a lot of wood, as you can see. So another one of my favorite farms. After the tree farm, um, my house. What, are, what does that even mean? I'm looking at my notepad. My house. Oh! my house almost forgot literally my house so another fun project we did oh and there was a couple other updates if you guys remember there was a chess board here it got blown up um when i was building the basement it got blown up and actually my house got blown up too but i fixed my house i didn't fix the chess board because this is a really nice area and i want to build a farm here but anyway i did guys yep this is my house in real life so i'm not going to give you guys my address you could look at my house to see how accurate it is but this is my house uh the first layer was built um in the 90s or 70s or 80s it was it was it was uh before 2000 and it was made out of brick and then when people some other people moved in they built a second story and it was made out of i think it looks like wood it, obviously it's probably plastic or concrete or whatever but it looks like wood um and then we moved into this house i think 2008 2007 2009 somewhere this is uh our red uh dodge ram uh van uh this is my car which is a white mitsubishi it's my brother's car which is uh a black ford focus yeah it's a ford focus and then living room kitchen um actually you know why don't i give you a little house tour right i've never given you a house tour but i'll give you a house tour and a lot of this needs to be decorated a lot of the decorations were actually blown up See, like, you can tell this was blown up because there's no decorations over there. There's still some decorations that wasn't blown up. Um, but yeah, this is my living room. If we walk into here, we have a little closet area. We go into here, we have another little closet area. We go down this little hallway. We've got a bathroom. We've got my brother's room. And this is actually my room. And so look at me. I am... Oh, and there's a zombie in the back my backyard. I'm literally sitting in this chair... So that's the computer. That's you guys. You guys are you guys are right here at the moment, literally. So a little bit of an inception, but anyway, it's it's kind of it's kind of cool to think about that I'm literally sitting right there at the moment. Um, and then if we go over here, we have my kitchen, we have our little like living another living room type of thing. We have our basement down there. And then if we go upstairs, we're almost done here. Over here is my 
sister well it's my parents room and office and stuff we have a bathroom and that's my sister's room so yeah that's my house um i still want to work on the decorations and stuff but that'll come later um after or not after we just another project was our giant ice temple here so this was another one of those builds that i just felt like building i didn't feel like working i just felt like building and we had a lot of bone blocks from our uh mob spawner so um yeah we i built this it has a nice little sword in it i kind of imagine like you know giants battling and like and like ancient times and the sword was just stuck into into this temple you know and there's nothing in this temple at the moment but it will be filled with something eventually um some other projects um a couple in our house here actually because we haven't really talked about the basement much other than the potion farm but down here um we built our industrial smelter so our furnace area which is right here fitted with um, like everything goes into here and lots of coal and stuff um, Then we built our suit. So this was a just fun little idea that I had was to build the different Dyed leather suits just for like different occasions. I think I was expired by Halloween or something uh, Our flower place our flower museum. I guess I guess should call it. It's just a showcase of every single flower in the game including the new wither rose so that's kind of cool how it, and it has the mushrooms too because i decided they're basically plants but anyway uh then we built our armor showcase which is right over here still another one of my favorite things that i built um once again hard flex with like the gold blocks and the emerald and the, the dragon heads and stuff um but i did put signs up because i kept getting confused and i kept breaking the system so this controls the gold cover so this takes away the gold cover and this brings the armor back up so this is all of our armor and all well this is not all of our armor but this is all fully decked out armor and i actually have more in here these are just the ones that i think are the best and then we can return them back down and put the gold cover back and this is going to be updated soon because if you guys haven't heard in the next update they're adding a new type of armor from a new type of ore netherite and this netherite is actually better than diamond so all of those diamond things are gonna have to be replaced and replaced with netherite so um ender our ender what are they even called ender pearl i keep calling them like ender spheres or ender balls but um that is in the end so let's travel back there if we go over here we did expand it towards this direction so it's actually pretty big um so obviously we stand over here and we just look at the endermen and they can't hit us and we collect their pearls and then they end up going down here um, and i have an enchanting area down here and a mass storage area for pearls over here and this doubles up as like a level farm because endermen give a lot of experience and you kill a lot of them very quickly um our main obviously level farm is our fishing farm uh but if i do need qu quick levels i do go to my ender pearl farm um another thing is our fish showcase which was another thing that was really recent is this with the new fish we built a little case and once again hard flex but the hardest flex on my world is actually my sleeping room which is over here and yeah you guys can take what you will obviously it doesn't look cool it looks like a 12 year old made it in creative mode but hey we're not in creative mode so that's why i like it because it's legit uh all right so then our first flower room this was another thing this is Okay, as far as special items go in my world, um, the most special item, this might be the most special, obviously, like, this is super special, and, like, but one of the most special items is this rose right here, and I have a little thing, again, a little bit of flexing, I don't, I don't know why I did this, I might take that away, but I just tried it, um, but if you guys go back to when we first found this entire base, the, one of the first things we did, and actually, it was right here, we put our bed here and there was a rose next to our bed i actually took that rose and stuck it in here so this rose was our first item from the base you could technically say and then other things that we worked on as time went on and let me grab some food here 
was a lot of our like animal places like locations where we stored them so i can kind of fly around and show you guys so this was where we store our polar bears and then we can take a look at that in a second so we put our polar bears there we put our parrots here we put our llamas over here we put our mushrooms over here um we put our dogs and cats over here horses here so a lot of those were built and then I sh we should probably take a look this is my little like uh, dinner bone and jeb areas which i'm gonna take these animals and probably put them in a museum eventually just like i did with my flowers uh, but i haven't had a chance to do that yet another thing with we built was another one of those just like fun creative builds was this little igloo over here and then we can go in and there is a little underground like bunker portion so if our world ever gets nuked by something which it did earlier but obviously that wasn't going to save us we have this little uh survival bunker down here so that was another little fun thing to build um and then a lot of other oh, a lot of other th fun things that i built uh was hmm i thought i had them actually in the chronological order maybe i skipped them by accident oh i did skip some by accident i think all right so um our pixel arts over here um this is one of the things where i'm really debating actually taking them down because i don't really play overwatch anymore and they're taking up a lot of valuable real estate um but we did build these pixel arts uh, i already showed you guys trump tower and then one of the most important things that i forgot i don't even know how i almost forgot this but the ice rink you know our other really really big project so we built this but then we built the literal ice rink next to it and I still am very proud of this. So uh, I'm still going to build like a venue here, you know, like vendors and stuff like that. But that'll come later. But we did build this entire ice rink and it's all lit up. So no mobs and stuff. And we can go ahead and do a little bit of skating and have a look around. But yep, i surprised I almost forgot about it. And what I'm also going to forget is I need more arrows or I need more rockets already. All right, so the ice rink now is everything. And then... Uh, what I was going to go to until I got sidetracked was um, this arrow game over here. I think this is so much fun. Uh, okay, I was like, I don't have a piece of redstone. But if we go over here and we get this, it just starts shooting a bunch of arrows and we can kind of just run through it and have some fun. Now, if you guys look at the amount of dispensers, it wastes a lot of arrows. Literally, we can just run through here. And we already have like almost an entire stack. And obviously, if I left it running for longer, but... Yep, I built this and I thought this was super fun. And then um, this is our little uh, Darth Maul door area. So if you guys remember in The Phantom Menace when Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan were fighting Darth Maul, um, the reason, or not the main reason, obviously Qui-Gon died because Darth Maul was stronger. But Obi-Wan was separated from Qui-Gon by these red laser doors. And they would like open and close, open and close. And he was separated from Qui-Gon, and Qui-Gon got killed by Darth Maul, and then, spoiler, uh, Obi-Wan killed Darth Maul. But I was I wanted to make a door like that, so I built this, and it kind of just goes one, two, three, and, you know, it goes one by one, and then it actually closes behind you, eventually, and it'll close behind you. So, anyway. Or maybe, maybe it doesn't close, maybe I didn't add that feature, but if we go back around, we do, we can close this door. And I'm still working on this door to make it a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, and then one of the most recent things we did was a new enchanting area. So we came over here. Since now we got a fresh supply of iron, we have a lot of anvils. And I moved our enchanting area. It used to be over there. Now it's over here. And yeah, we made a, we made a really expansive catalog of all of the enchantments. And we have a new area over here. So, man, my voice. I haven't recorded like this in such a long time. It's actually been months. Whew. But... I think that's it really obviously there was things that i'm not going to show you like our ocean monument our where we get our sand from eh, you guys don't really care there's not really a build um but yeah this is our entire world here and i guess i didn't show you the backyard of my house but there's the backyard six years in the making and funny thing is I planned the beginning of this video and I planned what I was gonna do in the middle but I never planned anything for the ending so I'm actually not sure what to do um, but I'm gonna keep rambling because rambling is a little fun um, but obviously I said this in the beginning 
this isn't one of those things. We hit episode 100. We're going to start a new world or we're going to stop playing Minecraft. No, that's not going to be the deal. Um, I love Minecraft. I love the game. I will always love the game. Um, it's one of the best games ever created. Um, big part of my childhood and yeah. There was nothing that can that's ever going to take me away from this game and make me dislike it. Well, we'll see what updates come along, but yep. As as far as I'm doing YouTube, I'm going to still continue doing this series even if I do an episode a month. Hey, it's an episode a month. The world's not dead. The world is only dead when I stop playing on it or I delete it. So, yeah. This is the world um I don't know if I'm going to do this, but um, this is what I was originally planning. I'm probably going to leave a world download in the pres in the prescription. Been the pharmacy too long. In the description. So if you guys want to play on this world or take a look at it, <clears throat> most likely it'll be in the description. If you want it, if you want it, and it's not there, leave a comment and I will see it and I will add it for you. If I don't do it, I might be. Because if no one watches this video, I'm not gonna bother. You know. Uh, uploading it to a website because the world is quite big <clears throat> so just let me know if you guys want it tell me in the comments if one comment wants it i'll do it just one person so um but yeah guys real quick i guess we can go back to our blown up world and continue to act like the world is over there we go this is what our world would look like if we blew it up our house is gone everything is gone uh but yeah guys so I think that's it um next episode 101 and we're gonna keep going from there nothing special um there are a few things that i have planned there was a lot of things obviously throughout this video i told you i'd planned for like decorating 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 some other farms with the new update is going to come a lot of things that we'll have to explore and actually there's still some things i have to explore from uh updates that were released before and i haven't got to so we'll get to those too uh, but guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you've been here for like six years, or tell me how long you've been here. Tell me how long you've you've been subscribed, how long you've been watching. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and comment as it supports the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.